going to sound bizarre. I support the Second Amendment. I own guns. I own two shotguns. I believe in the Second Amendment. I support the Second Amendment. You know, we need to act. These are weapons of war. I'm a Second Amendment guy. I'm a Second Amendment guy. I'm a Second Amendment guy. I don't believe you. A 22 caliber bullet will lodge in a lung, and we can probably get it out, maybe able to get it, and save the life. A 9 millimeter bullet blows the lung out of the body. That's the <laughs> dumbest thing I ever heard. My, my, my legislation says there can be no more than eight bullets in a round. Eight bullets in a round. They travel, that bullet travels five times as fast as something coming out of a muzzle of a gun. The bullet out of an AR-15 travels five times as rapidly as a bullet shot out of any other gun. Uh, I don't know. That's about the dumbest thing I ever heard. It made it harder for people to buy stabilized bra braces. Put a pistol on a brace, it may turns into a gun. The idea we still allow semi-automatic weapons to be purchased is sick. Most bullets would go just straight through and out, leaving little, but it blows up once it's inside your body. 150 million people have been killed since 2007 when Bernie voted to exempt the gun manufacturers from liability. All right, you ain't going to check your math on that one. We had to retrain cops as to why should you always shoot for de with deadly force? The fact is, if you need to use your weapon, you don't have to do that. You know, when I was coming up as a kid, you know, cops were learned to, you know, required to learn to shoot to kill. Well, you ought to be able to shoot to stop. So instead of anybody coming at you and the first thing you do is shoot to kill, you shoot them in the leg. And the idea that instead of standing there and teaching a cop who is an unarmed person to come at him with a knife or something, shoot him in the leg instead of in the heart. Man, do I sound like an idiot. If you want to protect yourself, get a double barrel shotgun, have the shells a 12 gauge shotgun, and I promise you, as I told my wife, we live in an area that's wooded and somewhat secluded. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just walk out on the balcony here, or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not gonna, you don't need an AR-15.